Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And this video is going to wrap up my five part video series about 50 ways to make the ice in your cooler last longer. Now, if you haven't seen the other four videos, they'll be floating up here in sequential order. I'll also put a link to them in the description below. So if you haven't watched them, go back and watch those first and then come back and watch this one because I kind of put them in a kind of a chronological order. So we're going to be wrapping these 50 up with what you can do towards the end of the life of your ice. So let's get started. But first, I want to qualify these tips as I always have. Very important that you understand this. Number one, not all tips are going to apply to every person in every cooler in every situation. And there's no way to tell whether a specific tip is going to add X amount of time or X percentage of time to your ice retention. There's just far too many variables. Now, some tips are going to require discipline and regiment. You have to constantly work and think about them and do them. Others are simple no-brainers, one-shot deals and you're done. Some tips will cost considerable money, some cost lunch money, and some are absolutely free. Some of these tips may conflict with others. In other words, don't think that if you do everything in this video series, you're going to get a lot of time because some tips will conflict with others. We're also not talking about dry ice, salt ice, either homemade or commercially available ice packs, nor are we talking powered coolers, either 12 volt or line voltage. We're talking about the coolers that you put ice in and you take out on a camping trip or hunting trip, what have you. Ice coolers only. And finally, you have to understand there is no such thing as a magic bullet. There is nothing that you can do that is magically going to make the ice in your cooler last two, three, four, six weeks. It just isn't happening. You're fighting the laws of physics. No magic bullet. The best you can do is increase the time a little bit. Maybe you got five days out of your ice, cool, ice in your cooler last time. You might be able to stretch it to six, maybe seven if you are very strict and on the ball about things, but you're not going to get two weeks out of it under this same identical situation. So let's get started, shall we? Number 41, either remember or map out where their things are in your cooler. If you know where something is in your cooler before you open it, you aren't rummaging around. It saves the time that your cooler is open and exposed to the warmer air. Number 42, Maintain an inventory of items left in the cooler to prevent digging around. If, for instance, you finish off the grapes, mark the grapes off the list. This way somebody else in your group comes along thinking, I'm going to get some grapes, and they spend five minutes digging around the cooler looking for something that's simply not there. If they can look at that inventory and see the grapes are not there, they either go without or decide on something else that is available on the list. When you put things in or take things out of the cooler, make sure that the packaging or products don't overlap under the lid or across the seal. Number 44, lift your cooler off the ground. The ground stays warmer at night than the air, so this will allow you to get your cooler up off the ground so it doesn't absorb the heat of the ground during the night. Number 45, go to a dual cooler method. In other words, use one for your perishable food and another for your beverages. Your beverage cooler is going to be open probably a lot more than your food cooler, and therefore your food cooler will not be open every time somebody wants to get a drink. An alternate dual cooler method is use two similar sized coolers and put your beverages and food in one and have an ice supply in the other that you don't open until you need to transfer it to your cooler with your perishables and your drinks in it. Number 47, you can also expand this to a three cooler method. This is an extreme. However, you can use one for your perishable foods, one for your beverages, and the third for your long-term ice storage. Again, your third cooler has ice in it. You put the ice in it and you don't open it until several days later when you need to transfer that ice into one or both of the other two coolers. Number 48 is an alternate three cooler method. You have one for beverages, one for short-term food storage, and a third for long-term food storage. In other words, your beverage cooler is going to hopefully last you the entire trip. Your short-term food storage is going to be used up and emptied in a matter of a few days, whereas your long-term food storage is not going to be opened until your short-term food storage has been emptied and cleaned out. Number 49. 
consider dehydrating and vac sealing your own food to save space. This is something I do all the time. I vacuum seal as much as I possibly can before I put it in my cooler. And finally, number 50. I know I've said there's no such thing as a magic bullet, but this is as close as I can come to an actual magic bullet, and I've used this with great success. And that is take advantage of the properties of water called evaporative cooling. It is the same process our bodies use when we perspire, the moisture on our skin absorbs the heat from our body. As it evaporates, it carries that heat away. Swamp coolers are another prime example. It simply uses the evaporative properties of water to absorb heat and evaporate it. So here's the trick. Take a towel, drape it over your cooler, and soak it with water. This way, when the heat tries to migrate into the cooler, it will heat the water up, evaporate, and as the water evaporates, it takes the heat with it. So to wrap this up, you're fighting the laws of physics. There are certain things you can do to cut down on your ice loss and keep your ice lasting longer. However, none of these are going to magically make your cooler last forever. If you've got a cooler that normally lasts with ice for four, five, six days, there's nothing you can do that's going to make it last for a month. So if you're going to go on a two-week trip, go fishing or hunting or camping, and you can at best get five or six days out of your cooler, you might get seven, maybe eight if you take some of these tips. But there is nothing that's going to make it last those two weeks. You're fighting the laws of physics and you will lose. So hopefully that you've got some good ideas out of this series. Make your ice last longer and keep your food from spoiling or simply being unpalatable because it's not as cold as you would like it to be. So this is Backpack Cat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on my videos. Ring that bell so you know when I got a new video coming out. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.